we're freaking spinning on a planet right now. I mean, that's crazy. And I think we forget that. We forget like the uncertainty that we're living in and the chaos that we're living in. As far as your faith, Christianity has been a big oh, part yeah. of your life. How does your faith keep you centered with everything that goes on in Hollywood and all the attention? Oh, sure. and Being a Christian in Hollywood, um, I mean, I, it's a very uncertain career, so knowing that I can go to God and trust that He <laughs> sees the bigger picture is very comforting to me. But I do think just the, the principles of my faith of, you know, Christ talks a lot about kind of looking around us and noticing the suffering of others and loving the, the orphans and the widows and being other-centered and trying to, and I mean, obviously I'm in probably one of the most narcissistic careers you can have. I, to be able to get my eyes off myself is a gift, you know, I think it's a gift to all of us to do that. So I think that's that's a definitely a principle of the faith. You've talked a lot about the pressure cooker situation in, in, in your real life, not just on beat, but mm -hmm. in, you know, being an actor. Does your faith play a role in, in keeping you um, centered away from all of that pressure? I know I talk about anxiety as I struggle with it. I mean, it's a, it's a daily fight. One thing I don't do enough and I need to do more is just being still. You know, just being still, I mean, we're freaking spinning on a planet right now. I mean, that's crazy. And I think we forget that. We forget, like, the uncertainty that we're living in and the chaos that we're living in. And just kind of sitting in the stillness with God, knowing that He is above that. I can surrender and trust Him and sit in that peace and that stillness, knowing that everything is kind of batshit crazy around me sometimes. The one thing that I always tell students who are getting into the business is you have to create a support system for yourself because this business will eat you alive if you don't. Because there's so much rejection and there's so much, and you can kind of lose who you are and lose your identity and you've got to have people around you who see you for who you are. And what's the one piece of advice you give to people who are feeling pressure, whether it's in their job or other things? I would say, I would try, to, I would encourage them to stay present because I think, again in this business there's so much looking to the next thing and people even ask you what's next for you that you can get so focused on the future you miss where you are and then you get to the end of your life and you're like wow I spent my entire career looking to the next thing and you've got to look around you and really stay here.